I'm just gonna speak on that. And if you want to do that, shadows don't talk to me. I won't talk to you unless shadows mind our business. You're telling me I'm using something against you. What am I using against you? Why is why are you doing that for? I don't understand. I just told you to make things worse. Then what are you doing? <laughs> Yes! Yes! Woo! Okay! Guys, it seems like Saga and Licorus won't be disappointing us after all. I mean, guys, I love the good start, you know, on biggest task to prank their partners. I mean, these people are doing well, and they're such good actors. You're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah and this is Practice Speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the tea. And guys, on this video, I've got all the juicy tea about how Nico Rose and Saga were able to start off the prank that Big Brother instructed them to play on their partners. And guys, trust me, for a moment, I was scared that these people would not really have the balls to do it. But they started last night. It was quite interesting. It was so fun to watch. But you know what? I'm going to share all the details on this video. But before I continue, please take a moment to turn on your post notification bell for this channel. That is one of the easiest and fastest ways that you'll be able to receive a lot of my videos whenever I upload a new one. Guys, I upload videos multiple times daily. Trust me, if you are looking for that space to get the most factual and accurate analysis, detailed information of the events of the Shanya Eye Mansion as they unfold in real time, guys, you realize has got you covered. So please do so and let's start. So in my previous video, I have informed you all about the task that Big Brother had given to Saga and Likoros. Big Brother would like you to start a fight and avoid Emmanuel <laughs> until your next diary session. <laughs> Just because they are looking for more BB tokens. Guys, we all know the value of BB tokens in the Big Brother house. BB tokens is like having a lot of stocks and bonds. <laughs> yes, it's like securing your future in that, in that house. Guys, it is so freaking expensive that it is not every single housemate that has that luxury or that privilege of having it every single time. Fact is, if you're not winning the Head of House Challenge, which comes with BB tokens, if you're not winning task in the arena, if you're not winning the Friday night games, guys, trust me, as a housemate, you are done for because you are not going to be getting any BB tokens at all in that house. The BB tokens are unlike their bed naira that Big Brother gives to the housemate every week for their weekly shopping. Guys, <laughs> now another perk of the BB tokens is it's not just about earning it. It's about the advantage of having it and securing it or rather using it to secure your stay in the house. Guys, I did a video previously about um, the BB tokens market, the various things that the housemates can actually purchase, you know, just by mer merely having the BB tokens. So the housemates can actually purchase immunity, which goes for 1,800 BB tokens. The housemates can also purchase five points to be ahead of the games during the Friday night arena game. Of course, this is week eight of this season of Big Brother Niger and it's very obvious that the remaining housemates are getting more agitated. Everybody wants to get to the finals. So everybody is literally keeping their fingers crossed that okay fine if I do not get evicted this week if I do not get nominated in week nine, then automatically I would want to buy immunity into the finals to be amongst the top five. Now guys, that top five is one position that every single housemate in that house at the moment is gunning for. And so guys, that was how Big Brother broached the topic with Saga and Likorus in their diary session yesterday. And of course, who wouldn't want to jump on that opportunity to get more BB tokens? We're talking about 200 BB tokens. So if she is able to get at least 200 BB tokens more and then probably wins more tasks or more games in the arena on Friday, then she just might be able to gather up to 600 BB tokens more to be able to buy her way into the finals. And then for Saga, Saga is not really even close to getting enough money for, to buy immunity because at the moment it has just about 600 BB tokens. Now guys, with all of these things I have said, these were the main reasons why these two people agreed wholeheartedly with all enthusiasm to go along with Biggie's prank game 
on their partners and guys trust me it was a decision that they didn't even have to think twice about saga literally said during his diary session that big brother might give you 200 bb tokens if you pass this challenge <laughs> consider it done consider it done What's he done? He's willing to do anything at all <laughs> to get more BB tokens. Liko Rose, she didn't even hesitate at all. Like she was ready and ready, ready to fire on with Biggie's game plan. And so guys, they started last night. He did the same shit, giving me attitude. Like it was my fault. I'm just gonna speak on that. And if you want to do that, shadows don't talk to me. I won't talk to you unless shadows mind our business. I was already having second thoughts about him. I was already feeling like, nah, this guy is not going to be able to pull off this prank on Nini at all. Because guys, we know we know how gelled to Nini Saga is. Like Nini is like the life support that Saga has in that house. Oh God, Nini is like is like the air that Saga breathes in that house. Like literally, guys, I'm not even kidding you. If those two people can stay beneath the duvet for hours, gisting during the day, at night, inhaling and exhaling each other's breath, then automatically, Nini is the air that Saga breathes in that house. I don't know about Nini, but in as much as Nini tries to hide it, I feel like the feeling is mutual now, unlike before when she was playing hard to get. Now, <laughs> Saga is like Nini's life support as well. So those two people, they seem so inseparable that when Biggie gave Saga that assignment, I was quite shocked that he accepted, of course. Well, it's all a game after all, so he would want to enhance his game as well. And so guys, when Saga got out of the diary room yesterday, I told you all how disappointed I was in him that automatically he was still talking to Nini and was giving her a foot rub, foot massage. So I was like, ah, this guy, what's your problem? You cannot even do a simple prank. And guys, I don't know if that's going to work against him because Biggie actually instructed that specifically that prank was to begin immediately. But Saga did not begin immediately. I felt like he needed the entire day to get to enjoy Nini's company one last time before he did what he had to do. But then guys, later in the evening, after they finished their presentation, <laughs> So that's why I had a crazy, <laughs> a crazy argument with Nini. Yes, of course, it had to do with stylish. And of course, Nini is very, very sensitive. She noticed instantly that Saga was giving her space, that Saga was avoiding her. And when she confronted Saga about it, Saga came with the excuse of, oh, he had a bad day. But Nini wasn't having any of it. Guys, you can imagine how proud I was of Saga. The moment I saw him going back to his old bed, because guys, Saka had neglected his bed for the past, should I say, five weeks. Yes, he had neglected his bed. <laughs> so dude went back to his original place of abode. He went to dust the sheets, clean it up, arrange it, and then he slept. <laughs> guys, I was laughing so hard. I'm like, what? So this will be the first time in, should I say five or six weeks that Saga would be separated from Nini? Hi! It's got, guys, I can, I can imagine how Saga is feeling. It's like a child being yanked off the mother's breast. I feel like that is how Saga is feeling. And he's going to feel that way till Biggie tells him to end the prank. Hi! Omo, oh, my guy, my guy not gonna feature up. <laughs> and then for Liko Rose, oh my god. You know, Likoros and Emmanuel, guys, I've already talked about how I feel like their relationship, their love, that romantic thing that they're trying to show to the viewers. I've always felt like, ah, it's fake, Jerry. Like, because I, I, of course, I'm not feeling it. But then one thing I know for sure is that she enjoys having conversations with Emmanuel. Like, that one is legit. So I could see the struggle. Like, she was pacing around the house yesterday she was racking her brain she was thinking but she really tried though because immediately she came out of the diary room she started avoiding emmanuel you know when emmanuel would come sit close to her in the garden she would just get off and walk away when the housemate is talking to her about emmanuel she'd be like oh that one you know she was already creating that air of animosity about them so <laughs> emmanuel could not handle it anymore emmanuel came to talk to her about it <laughs> And the one who they told was one side, everybody has this one side that's coming from me more. And that day you went to talk about it, you know, you were acting out in outside. Like she was so dramatic about it. And we know that Nico Rose is a good actor. So she really, really made a hell of a fuss 
about it to the point that finally they both slept in separate beds as well <laughs> in as much as i am proud of these people the question again still stands guys biggie specifically said that this prank is going to run through till their next diary session and we know that their next diary session is friday guys friday is the jacuzzi night party so the question right now is do you think that these two housemates will be able to put up this stunt till friday hey do you think especially saga do you think they'll be able to put up this stunt till friday because ha ah, the way Nini is going about this thing, she's not having it at all. Like, she seems very, very upset and almost vindictive. Like, ah, Saga, you cannot be giving me that kind of attitude. She already cleared Saga last night. She already warned him. So, guys, that's a question for all of you. Please go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you guys on another episode of Frankly Speaking with Glory Elijah. Don't go anywhere. Have an amazing day. Bye. <laughs>